Hello, my friends. This is computer science lesson uh, about physical network connections, which is we are in uh, the new topics, uh, which is, you know, the Internet. In this lesson, we will learn about physical network connections, which is wireless or Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, you can think like that. So we have copper cable physical connections and we have fiber cable and we have wireless uh, which is uh, connecting with the radio waves uh, and the other one the wireless uh, connecting with the radio waves which is in your computer there is a wi-fi card which is uh connection with the uh, with the wi-fi uh, wi-fi uh, box machines okay uh the other way is the copper cable is which is uh sending electricity uh and uh each device is tagging it like binary uh data digital binary like it's converting like bits zero and one to possibility so of or on like that uh yep and the other one is the fiber cable i told you fiber cable is uh sending uh, fiber cable is working exactly send system is like uh, light it's not like electric or radio waves it is working with the light it's sending light okay uh well uh, okay now we'll start let's start with me the internet is a network of computers connected to each other but what does each physical physical connection look like it depends on the needs of the connection and the size of the internet of the network sorry so often we uh, we spoke about uh about internet which is we talk about a local local area network data center uh network and uh the other one which is uh, wide area network and we talk about ip api little unique we told unique code for everyone uh, unique uh, unique things and the tcp and the other ones but all these things uh, physically working like that so physical way we are just connecting something like we need power cable yeah this kind of uh, cables copper cables uh, so to connect the things with the electric or with the light or with the radio waves and then we can use this guys anyway let's start with the copper cables now internet is the internet is the theory uh, but the, for the practice uh, we have we have physical network connections like cables and other things since the landline telephone system originally used copper copper wires right you can check in your home already the first internet connections reused that technology and many still is many still used use it today of course still in your house if you are in a computer lab or near a modem you can probably find a cable similar to this one so you can check uh, back of your back of your Wi-Fi uh, machine, you, you can see there this uh, cable. Exactly, it will be there. Um, okay, that one. So you can check it. And then that's a Cat Five. This cable mean a name, a type of twisted uh, pair table that's pair cable that's designed for use in computer networks which is two uh, twisted pair cable like it's uh, uh, the composition there the composition leaving the composition there uh, okay if you if you were to look inside the cable you would find four twisted pairs of cable copper wires copper wires so okay you'll see something like that there too the four here yeah, four twisted pairs which is four copper wires all will be now digital code 
so that one i mean this 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 zero one zero one connection anyway let's look down Twisted pair cables and uh, send data through a network by transmitting pulses of electricity that represent binary data. Okay, it's sending electricity there. Okay, the electricity is coming by transmitting pulses of electricity that represent binary data. It's just converting binary data. All this electric uh, impact, impact. Uh, happening like uh, chords, like some bits. Okay, uh, okay. We will, we will, we will think about it more. Okay, we'll, we'll see what will, what will do for that. What we'll understand. Let's come down. Look here. Uh, to make sure cables are transmitting information in a way that can be understood by the re recipient. They follow the internet, uh, Ethernet standards. Ethernet standards. Don't forget it. Ethernet standards. Okay. It's just applying these rules. That's why twisted pair cables are commonly known as Ethernet cables. Always we calling it Ethernet cables like that. Yeah. Uh, let's say they are used both in networks as small as a company office, LAN, which is local area network, or large as entire country white or a network so this ethernet cables i mean ethernet standards is all connectional works uh, connectional words you can understand all okay it's easy just you need to know copper cables have twisted four uh, four uh, cable wires so it's just uh, connecting to each other so connecting to each other you just think there is two machine to computer just connecting with this way it's electricity flowing uh, floating uh, inside these cables and going to other places just converting we just then converting this to binary data and binary data we were uh, converting like decimal uh, information and many more things we just doing video we just doing photo and more and more okay it's just converting with the uh, electric okay now the other one uh after copper cables now fiber optic cables uh the better than the other but anyway there is uh, advantage and disadvantage we will speak all of them a fiber optic cable contains an optical fiber that can carry light instead of electricity okay this is not working with electricity it's working with the light okay this is high system already we using in today so uh the fiber is coated with plastic layers and shielded sorry in a protective in a protective tube to protect it from the environment okay there is a plastic is just protecting to to the light uh, and the system which is spikely anyway uh uh Okay, she did in a protective tube to protect it from the environment. It's important. It's just uh, receiving light and it's just converting again uh, lightning to the binary data. Okay, fiber optic cables communicate by sending pulses of light that represent binary data. It's just it's just sending pulses of light. Okay, not electric. It's sending light. Light is different. Electric is different. And it is very fast and electric. Well, uh, we just visualize, visualize, uh, visualizing, visualizing. I don't know how to use it. We we can display it like that. Okay, notate it uh, like that. It's not like uh, electric electricity marker. Okay, like a little bit like looking like waves, but anyway, you can think different. Okay, same. They typically, typically also follow the Ethernet standards. Ethernet standard is the same for everything, for everyone. Okay, the just uh, sending system is a little bit different. For someone is going with the uh, floating with the electric, the other one floating with the. So I mean, copper cables. Uh, 
uh, flooding with electricity, uh, electric, and the other one, uh, fiber cables just sending light. The virus is uh, wireless, wireless uh, sending with the radio electromagnetic waves, uh, radio waves, okay, with the computer card, wave card. Anyway, um, let's say they are sending data in a way that can commonly understand by any person. I thought we called already that. Fiber, op uh, fiber optic cables are capable of transmitting much more data per second than copper cables. I told you that's very fast, very, very fast. They're often, because this is sending with the light, guys, it's really. They are often used to connect networks across oceans so that uh, data can travel quickly around the world. This is amazing system. Okay, so it's just uh, uh, we 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 can we can put in uh, an ocean uh, for Mac to short way to connection very fast. So about internet and other things and data can go and come very fast. Can float there very fast. This is some image just visualization is like that displaying it like that this is the copper cable so this is the uh, fiber cable i mean okay this one fiber optic cable sorry so this fiber optic cable is going with lightning light floating inside it as fiber optic cables become less expensive uh, they're becoming increasingly common in citywide networks as well yeah, it's uh, just uh, joining in our life very fast in two days. And I believe in the future, quantum computers and the more and the more technologies will start and we will begin to uh, make very different things because quantum computer computing will be very different. There will be many more possibilities than zero and one. There is, will be between zero and one some small values like 0 0.1 0 0.2 and really uh it will be very very fast i believe that so it is also guys it's just going with this like that wireless which is the last one uh i told you wireless and then fiber optic cables and uh, the first one, copper cables. Wireless connections don't involve any writing at all. At least at first, a wireless card inside the computer turns the binary data into radio waves. I told you, we have computers uh, and computers. We have what? We have a card, wireless card. This inside the computer turns the binary data into radio waves. Just binary data going to radio waves. And it's just going to other place and transmits them through the air. Yeah, in the air, it's just uh, making transmits, okay? It's just, uh, it's just joining the weather, uh, uh, the weather, and it's just, uh, what's happening, you know? It's just uh, digital data is just converting with the, uh, to the, uh, to the radio waves, okay? At that way. Near, um, uh, we can visualize it like that. Let's bring it. Okay, this is the way. The symbol is like that. Already here. <laughs> yeah, this is my Wi-Fi symbol. Those radio waves can travel very far, just 7,500 feet in a place uh, like an office building that's filled uh, with all sorts of obstacles or prevalence, you can think like that, or up to 1,000 feet uh, in a wide open field. Yeah, because obstacles will block it, uh, just a computer card, uh, Wi-Fi card, wi wireless card have to see, have to join in the air and to send the information. But there is many blocks, uh, which is uh, many obstacle, 
obstacles like uh, stone the things and i don't know many more things okay it's not a small piece of things anyway uh, the waves are hopefully picked up by a, by a wireless access point which converts to them from radio waves back into binary data again the same methodology radio waves coming back into binary data again in the weather it's in the air wireless access points are connected just uh, they are uh, concatenating their things in the same at the same point and just converting starting there um, but this is not something like uh, Fascinators, Fascinators things, so it's just easy things, okay, to understand. Uh, wireless access points are connected to the rest of the network using physical wiring to cover up fiber optic cables in some way. Explaining, okay, this is Wi Fi here, which as you can see. And our cable is already there. Have you seen this blue one? It's there. All together now. At any given time, our internet connection might be using a combination of those technologies, right? Three technologies. So copper cables, fiber optic cables, and the wireless. Uh, maybe we are, we're, we are using Wi-Fi to connect our home router or home router is using to visit pair copper cables. So all day, work can all they can work together too right at the same time uh, you can connect your uh, home internet with the fiber cable fiber optic cables and uh, and then they can join to the copper cables at some point and on the street and on the street the copper cables can uh, maybe not wi-fi connecting can join copper cables in some way guys okay uh, let's read all metropolitan network and those cables are hopping over fiber to communicate with our SAS, our SAS data centers. Each technology has both advantage and disadvantage. Advantage. Uh, so use whether whatever is best for the job. Mm, okay. Type, it's wireless, sense is radio, I told you, radio waves. Uh, distance is 100 feet, not more. There is more obstacles or prevalent, pre prevalence uh, for stop it. And this 1.3 uh, bandwidth we have here. Yeah. Uh, and then issues is slower in reality. Really, it's looking like that. Um, Okay, uh, twisted pair copper cables, which is copper cables, electricity sending methodology, electricity, and distance is 330 feet, uh, which is more than wireless. Uh, and then uh, one bandwidth, it, it is like one, and the issues is uh, susceptible for to Saskat table to interference, interference, Saskat table, 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 table. I don't know how to translate it, but okay, I, I get it. What, what does it mean? Uh, this is working with electricity. I told you this is more than, uh, so distance more than, uh, wireless. But bandwidth is well. Bandwidth is less than distance, so less than wireless. Fiber optic cable is the sending form is light. Distance is very, very more. It's like 50 miles, miles, miles. And the bandwidth is 26 TBPC. Oh, this is very, very more. And the issue is expensive. <laughs> the problem is expensive. Yeah, my friend, it's all uh, for today. So, next lecture will be about bit rate. Where is it? Okay, the, another topic will be about. Let's come up to the here. 
Okay, let's bring down. Maybe that, but just I'm looking for the good places. Um, okay, maybe here better for make it a uh, bit a uh, bit rate bandwidth and what happened in the let's go it and then let's say and latency yeah the way it's another topic will be that so i mean so okay we, we will just go wide widely to understand all concept of the, these technologies the bit rate bandwidth and latency we will go deep of them and we will learn all things about internet in this big topic subtopic of the digital uh, subtopic of the computer science principles uh, fundamentals of the computer science and yeah anyway this is uh, so as early now to speak about other details in the future i i want to speak all details with you i'll just come here to put here line and do it like that yes next lecture uh, next lesson we will speak about bitrate bandwidth and latency i hope you get wireless copper cables and fiber optic cables and the last uh, the another last uh, lecture learned about local area network wide area network and digital no data center uh, data center network don't forget all them and also we learned about ap uh, ap so ip uh, ip which is unique for everyone uh, and then we learned tcp which is bringing information in same way so security anyway the more and more we will learn okay just you don't need to memorize them but you need to know about concept okay don't forget it thank you so much for joining have a good day have a good time i really appreciate you to see you there again uh, next lecture and i'm so happy to uh, you were been here with me and this is good message so likes uh, see you later for now have a good time